The State Hermitage, Russia's Amazing Museum. The State Hermitage, Russia's Amazing Museum. Introduction. Welcome to the State Hermitage Museum in State S T Petersburg, Russia. My name is Pavel. Let me show you my home, the greatest museum in the world. It had a rich history, more than three million works of art, and has survived many disasters. <clears throat> All of these characteristics makes my home great. <clears throat> But just you wait and see. <clears throat> Do you know the Hermitage can't display all three million works of art its collection at the same time? Many are in storage. The museum is open for eight about eight hours each day and is closed. Closed for many holidays. If you spend only two minutes looking at each work of art during museum hours, it will take you more than forty-three years to see the entire collection. History of the museum of the museum, from seventeen sixty-two to seventeen ninety-six. Catherine、uh, Catherine the Great was Russia's empress, which is like a queen. My great grandmother's grandmother. New Christine well, well lived in the Winter Palace together. The Winter Palace is the largest building of the seven that make up the Hermitage today. Word wise, Hermitage of France word meaning place of seclusion. The Hermitage began as the art collection of Catherine the Great. Catherine began her. Collection by buying paintings in 1764, she bought 235 paintings by Dutch and Flemish masters. Like most collectors, Catherine continued to expand her collection over the years. Several of the paintings she collected were famous, were by famous artists, including Rembrandt, Rembrandt and Rubens. You can still see some of these paintings at the Art Hermitage. For many,、uh, for more than two hundred years, the collection has grown from those first paintings purchased by Catherine. It has become one of the world's largest and most impressive collections of art. It includes not only paintings but also coins and medals, gold, treasures, gems, stones, books, armor, sculptures, furniture, and more. It makes many、uh, my collection of shiny objects seem very small, but I am just beginning my collection. Come with me and I show you a few pieces in the Hermitage's collection. My favorite art. Probably two of the most popular paintings in the heritage were by Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci. They are called Madonna with a Flower, painted in 1479, and Madonna and Child, painted in 1590. I can't usually see both paintings up close since I'm so small. There is al- almost always a crowd of people around them. My favorite paintings are in the museum's collection of works by the French artist Gauguin. She has he has a whole room devoted to his work. I can't stand in the Gauguin room all day. Imagining myself on the island of Tahiti. Where he painted many of the works in the heritage collection, and my other favorite work of art in the museum is the museum itself. Many of the rooms are elaborately decorated and painted. I feel as I if I'm inside a wedding cake whenever I want into Pavilion Hall. Feeling like that keeps me interested in exploring all the rooms, halls, and corners of the museum. Pretender to the throne. In one room, I can pretend to be Peter I. He ruled Russia from 1689 to 1725. His clothes, furniture, books, tools, and mother, everybody, everyday objects make a part of the 
exhibits, uh, exhibits in the collection. It's fascinating to peek into the life of a real Russian emperor. Museum faces disasters. Tourists explore the museum with me on most days. It makes me proud that Russian emperor we. Richard Matsofars opened the museum to the public in 1852. He built a new building and called it the New Hermitage. It would have been terrible not to have the beautiful collection on display for all to see, but these times in the Hermitage's historic disaster nearly destroyed everything. My great great. Grandmother survived the first disaster in 1836. A big fire at the winter place threatened the collection. Palace soldiers took precious items from the palace out onto the square as fast as they could. Nearly everything was saved. My grandmother told me stories of the second disaster in 1917. A revolt. Revolution happened in Russia. Nicholas I and the royal family were thrown out of the palace. The new government moved the art collection to the capital city of Moscow. No one really knew that would happen to the art. By October 1917, the ruling government lost its power. A second new government brought back the art and made the Winter Palace a new her- Hermitage, the state museum. My mother survived the third disaster in 1941. German troops attacked it, and Russia was thrown into the Second World War. Over a million works of art were saved from the battle. Two special trains filled with art were sent to a remote part of Russia in the Aral Mountains. The Germans cut off St. Petersburg. For nine hundred days, hundreds of thousands of people, including heritage workers, died during the siege. Conclusion: The heritage's collection endured. It began as a small collection of paintings loved by one Russian express empress. It survived several disasters. It has grown to become one of the oldest, largest, and most impressive collections of art enjoyed by the world. He lived in the Hermitage as my great grandmother's grandmother did before me. Now you too can see why the Hermitage is the world's greatest museum and place to live.